Okay, so exclusivity in the media is sort of a weird little thing. There are different, different types of media want different types of exclusives. So let me explain. If you are going to a magazine or a newspaper and you want to have a big feature article about yourself, then you have to only go to one person and offer them the story. That's called an exclusive. And what it means is that you're not going to go and offer that quest that story to anyone else unless those people come back and say to you they don't want it. So the idea is that you're going to give them the story and you're going to let them sit on it and work out the story and then they're going to be the ones who can break, break that story for you. Um, the other kind of exclusivity that you need to think about is that different types of media compete against each other, like in most industries. So, for instance, you wouldn't, it wouldn't go down very well anyway if you went to a breakfast TV show and then pitched it to the competitive breakfast TV show. But you could go to a breakfast TV show and then go to newspapers and then go to radio and then go to magazines with the same story. That's not going to be a problem for people. It's it's the exclusivity thing is really around the bigger articles and then it's about the media that are trying to get the latest news. So it's the newspapers, it's the evening news, it's the breakfast news and it's radio news. Those guys do not, they want to be breaking that story, which means they want to be the only ones that are talking about it and then the other media will jump onto it afterwards. So... If you're asked to do to offer an exclusive, so say you've sent a media release out or you've pitched to someone and they go, I love it, can we have it as an exclusive? The first thing that you should do is say, how long would you like it for? What you don't want to do is let them sit on it for two weeks, then it becomes all out of date and when they turn around and say, no, we actually, we've decided we're not going to do it or something's come up so we can't run it, it's kind of run out of puff and you can't go anywhere else with it. So what I would suggest is that you ask the journalist how long would you like it as an exclusive for? Now, I have spoken and I've interviewed lots and lots of different journalists and they will always say that they'll come back to you within 24, 48 hours max. So don't leave it with a journalist for too long, but be aware, particularly if it's a business story or it's something that you're putting out to um, a news media, a news outlet, that they will want an exclusive. If, however, you're selling products, for instance, you could send them out to 30 different magazines and newspapers and no one will care if they all run it. I think we've all had um, weekend newspapers where you kind of open the magazines and the same products are being featured in all of them. That is not as much of a problem. That is very, very rare that they would ask for an exclusive. It's really just around news and your big thing to do is to ask them how long they want it for. But don't let that put you off. Go off and get yourself some more articles in the media now.